This is Chris from MyCricketForum.com. What I'm going to show you how to do in this video is to remove the default Google account from a phone. This can come uh, in useful if you're changing your Google accounts around and you don't want uh, a certain one to be your default Google account because that's what uh, you use to sign in uh, to the market, download your apps and all of that. Uh, also, if you receive a phone from another person, uh, a used phone, and you don't want to delete the apps that they already have on their phone, uh, you can change over the main profile. You will have to have root access on your phone. Today we have an AT&T uh, Captivate. This is my first time actually with a, uh, a GSM phone, but since it's Android, it'll work all the same if you are a Cricut uh, user. We've already gained root on this phone, and we installed a program called Root Explorer. It's going to allow us to uh, modify this file. We're going to go to Root Explorer, the System Framework folder. We're going to make sure it's read writable and not read only. We're going to scroll down and find framework hyphen res.apk. We'll click and hold and rename it. After the dot apk, just put dot b. A K and hit OK. An error might pop up after a little while, a force close error. If it does, just click OK. And then rename that same file back to its original framework res.apk and click OK. Now we'll go home and see if it worked. We'll click mark it. Usually right here it will give you the option to go back in and enter a new Google address, but it's not. So let's power it off and reboot. Click mark it again. And as it should, it's asking us to add a Google account. That means there are no Google accounts set on this device. Visit www.mycricketforum.com for more tips and flashing tutorials.